I hope you have had a good time and you have enjoyed the videos on dating and types of romantic relationships. Today I'm having a diversion from the normal videos I've been making and this is on procrastination part one. Procrastination or what people call the banana syndrome it's the act of unnecessary postponing of decisions or action. So I want to look at what make people get into procrastination or manana syndrome. What are the contributory factors? One of the reasons why people postpone decisions or action is that their drive to delay is irrationally strong than the drive to act. So they are more likely to postpone the action which they could have done. Then there is the aspect of the prioritization, pro, prioritizing uh, the tasks due to the short-term moods. You feel you don't want to wake up. You feel you don't want to get to work to, to involve yourself with any activity. So now, the reason why you are postponing is because of enjoying your short-term pleasure. That one can make you delay action or postpone action which you should have done. Uh, number three, there is the aspect of the task aversionness. You feel that the task is frustrating, is boring, is unpleasant. So you don't want to do that actually that activity because you feel you are not going to enjoy it. There's no fun to it. So why should you get involved with activities which which you are not enjoying or which you are not having pleasure to do it? Uh, then there is the aspect of anxiety and fear. Why would you not do involve yourself with a certain activity because of anxiety and fear? You may be fearing to be criticized. You may be fearing that when you do that activity, people might find that you have not done it to perfection and probably you fear criticism. So you don't want to get involved in that activity. Uh, another reason which may be contributing to Manana syndrome is the aspect of having so many things at your heart or on the table. You have so many activities to do. And then because of this, you get confused. You don't know what you have, what you have to start with. So on the process, you end up giving up and feeling that you don't want to be involved with any activity. So you just stay like that. The other issue reason is perfectionism. And this happens especially to others. You want, you don't want to publish your work with any flowers. You want your work to be hundred percent without even a single word which is misspelled. So because of this, you can postpone publishing your work, though at practical level, your book will be very nice, but because of that you are a person who really values perfectionism, you will not be able to publish your book. Then there is also the aspect of disconnecting the present with the future. You feel that the future is not going to affect. If you don't do that task, somebody else is going to be affected, not you. So you disconnect yourself. And once you disconnect yourself from the future, you are likely not to do that activity. You feel it's somebody else who is going to be affected. 
and that is another explanation. Then there is also the aspect of delayed outcomes. You feel this task is not going to give you immediate results. And since you don't have patience, you just don't get involved yourself with that activity. So the consequence of delay is something which is going really to affect to affect you even in the future. So patience, lack of patience is going to contribute. Then there is the aspect of no motivation. You don't feel to be involved in that activity because you feel the outcome is going to be very low. You feel what you are going to get out of it is not worthy being involved in that activity. Then there is also the aspect of a tendency to be doing something which you are already doing. What do I mean by this? So what uh, in this aspect, what I'm trying to say is that you feel there is comfort on concentrating with what you are doing. You don't want to be involved with doing something extra. You are in the comfort zone. And so you don't want to be involved with any other task. You feel you are satisfied. Then there is the aspect of a decision. You cannot make a decision to be do another activity. And finally, there is disorganization. Your life is disorganized. You cannot be able to do anything else. Your life, you are simply a chaotic person. And when you are a chaotic person, it means that even your daily life, your activities will also be that way. You are simply chaotic. So what I'm putting across in this part one on Manana syndrome or procrastination can have far-reaching effect both at family level, both at work level, and even in school, universities, colleges, and secondary schools or other tertiary institutions. So procrastination is very dangerous. It will affect your success in life. Otherwise, thank you very much. I hope you have enjoyed this video on procrastination. Thank you very much. And if you are not if you are not subscribed to a moment with your quarrel, I would encourage you to do so. Thank you very much.